hey guys welcome back in this lecture we will learn how to calculate a dead load and live load according to 875 part 1 and part 2 for industrial building sloped roof <music> New project space provide a name location length unit is meter and force unit is kilonewton. Just create a industrial building. I'm creating a span of 12 meter height is 6 or 5 meter. Okay. Select, go to insert node, add endpoint, n is equal to I am providing 3, add beam, add beam all the bracings, vertical and incline. Take a beam cursor, select the structure, translational repeat Z direction 4 meters. Link strip open base. Okay, just delete all the bottom members. Press delete button from your keyboard. Now look at this. It's your front view and your top view. Right? For the calculation of dead load, it's a front view and it's a top view. I am creating a center line of each of the sections like that. For this particular area, the green one load will transfer to this truss. from the center of this particular area and the load of this particular area is transferred to the second truss right the load of this area will transfer to this particular truss from the center And load of this particular area will transfer to this truss, the third one. Like that, all the load will transfer in a industrial building. So, just now we need to calculate how much load will come in this particular truss and in the truss we apply load in this particular node only so we have to transfer all the node to these nodes okay now look at this how we can transfer the load to these nodes Divide it, take any of the truss of this building, okay. The load of this particular area will transfer to this node and load of all this area will transfer to 
this node. Load of this area will transfer to this particular node. So we have to calculate the area and multiply it with a load per unit area and apply it to the node. What is the area? Look at this. It's a length of your member or just calculate length of any one segment. Go to the stat pro. Display node to node distance. What is the distance of one segment? 1.581 meter. This distance is from center to center 1.581 meter. Right? And a length center to center is 4 meter. Multiply it with 4 meter is equal to 1.581 multiplied by 4 6.3 6.3 meter square is area multiply it with the load just go to dead load code it's a code for all the dead loads and go to roofing it's a roof page number 30 look at this there are so many types of roof flat roof glazed roof Galvanized iron sheeting. Galvanized iron sheeting. C39 metal sheeting protected in table number 1. Just go to table number 1. It's a table number 1. Unit weight of building materials. Metal sheeting protected. Page number 10. Just go to page number 10. Okay. You will find out all the data at page number 10. Metal sitting protected galvanized steel. According to the class of your sheet, you can choose load per unit area. Class 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a load in kilonewton per meter square. Just take a load of your particular sheet according to its thickness, nominal size or thickness. The sheet is depends on the thickness. Thickness may be 1 mm, 0.8 mm, 1.2 mm, 1.6 mm. Just take according to it. I am taking a 1.6 mm thickness in class 3 sheet. It's a 0.128. Let's multiply it. 0.128. Equal to multiply it point one two eight point eight zero point eight kilonewton. So, what's the load for this particular node is zero point eight kilonewton. Like that we can calculate for all the nodes it is similar because we calculated for one segment so for another segments the load will same as 0 0.8 kilonewton for all the nodes all the intermediate node look at this at the corner node there is area is half area will be half 
so for that particular load will also half it is 0.4 kilo newton okay so just apply the load at intermediate nodes are 0.8 kilo newton and at the corner nodes 0.4 kilo newton for a live load just go to live load code for live load and look at this flat sloping or curved roofs with slopes up to an inclined 10 degree if the slope is up to 10 degree of your roof access provided if there is access provided then take a load as 1.5 kN per meter square if access is not provided just take 0.75 kN per meter square if the slope is greater than 10 degree then for a roof member sheet or purlin 0.75 kN per meter square less 0.02 kN per meter square for every degree increase in slope over 10 degree if the slope will increase like slope will increase uh, 1 degree it is around 11 degree so you have to deduct the load as 0 0.02 kN per meter square it will be 0 0.73 kN per meter square for 11 degrees okay so I am taking axis not provided what is the area area is 6.3 meter square Multiply it with the 0 0.75, which is for area access not provided. Just multiply it. Six point three multiple point seven five. Four point seven two five. It is four point seven. 5 kilo newton for intermediate nodes and just half for half 2.36 for corner nodes it's a load it's a live load and this is a dead load for the industrial building just we have calculated with the help of is codes for this particular industrial building thanks for watching this in next lecture we will apply this load to the structure